Greetings, humanity. It is I once again. I am Jim, and I am playing City Skylines just for a little bit. I've only got like an hour today to mess around. Um, so I wanted to, because I've got other stuff I want to do today. It's I, I realized that there's stuff going on tonight. A little bit, a little bit. Not a huge amount of stuff. Just a little bit of, like, I've got to connect with some people. And uh, then I also have uh, some things I want to do a little later this afternoon. So this is it. This is the time I have today uh, to uh, do some building. I've got some projects I have to catch up on. Most notably, I'm, I'm getting closer to uh, finishing the next iteration of uh, a card game I'm working on for playtesting, and we'll see how that goes. Um, also, I'm going to show you a thing. i got to show you a thing. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show you a thing. Here, I'll go ahead and I'll just put the city in the back backdrop so that I can, I can show you a thing. Wait, that's not it at all. Ah, that's the camera I wanted. Um, yes. Hi, hi. Let me show you a thing. I got a very kind person, very kind friend of mine. Uh. Sent this. I don't know if they want to be identified on camera, uh, but sent to, sent me this. This is an Xbox controller, and uh, I actually I I don't have a lot of games that are more uh, arcade gamey, video gamey, um, but it is going to come in handy because I I do have some. I think that we'll probably use it. I've got actually one one of the ones I have coming up. I think we'll use this. Um, and so I'll probably be doing that soon. It's a Sherlock Holmes game. Um, so I want to try it out and see how it goes. Um, but I'm, I'm very excited. It, it, I haven't had a, I haven't had an, an Xbox controller in a very, very long time. Um, I haven't, uh, since the before time. Um, back in, uh, early aughts. Um... So, very excited about that. But, uh, obviously I'm not using it for this, uh, because I don't have enough time. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, uh, so I don't have enough time today to actually start up that new game. So, we're just doing this. Doing this. And, and uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Right now I've got the waterproof here. Do you remember her? I'm gonna have it up. I may need to move the water purification elsewhere. The trouble is... See, part of the problem, though, is that if I move it... I move it... In theory, we should be okay. I am I am mildly concerned. See, this nothing seems to be... Nothing bad. That's garbage. Pollution, there we go. I mean, this seems to be working. So, in theory, anyone drinking downstream is okay. However... And I mean, actually, all the water is coming from way upstream, so... I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I have to decide... a number of things. But, uh, among them... Like... If I were to move it down here... There's not really so much of a a flow, you see. You've got the, the little arrows showing us, us the, uh, the water flow. And uh, out here it gets less and less and you just sort of it disperses, right? So I'm not sure... I'm not sure how to strategically place this. Like, because my instincts tell me, like, oh, put it there, but then isn't it going to just sort of... I mean, again, we, we don't have a lot of pollution, and I don't I don't see any of it coming out of here. So that's probably okay. But I'm a little concerned. Also, I want to get it out of the way anyway, so actually that's probably going to happen no matter what we do. 
Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can... How are we, by the way? Sewage treatment's going well. Water availability, less so. Apparently, not everyone's getting... I remember. I remember this becoming an issue when I got to a much bigger city. I'm just going to put it there because I can. Um, I remember last time it becoming an issue because there were just not enough sources of water. It all had to come from one point like it is right now. So I'm probably going to do something to fix that soon, but not yet. <laughs> That's a future me problem. Here's what we've got. We've got these, and I'm just going to run another pipe out this way. Because, once again, I can. There we go. Connect it up. Um, I also should probably generate power for this. Um, we're, we're, we're great on, on production right now, so we don't really need all of this, I don't think. Yeah. So I'm going to move one of these and probably destroy the other. Fix my glance. You know, it says MW. That could mean anything. Three. Is that enough? Remove one of the water ones. Nah, we're just gonna do this for now. Maybe I'll just put both of them out here. Make up for the lack of everything else. Unless this is the only thing. Is this the only power? No, no, it's got it's connected there. Okay, I was like, are, are we about to remove our only sources of power? I don't think so. We'll know in a moment. I just want there to be enough power. Good lord. For this, however much power it uses. So we can drain properly. Having any electrical problems over here? Please let us know. Okay. Let's do this now. Let us... Did I already purchase the... I did... I... I did I? Yes, I did. Okay. That'll be later. All right. Okay, here we go. I know. I guess I get a little more traction with... Uh, as far as traction. I guess I get a little more... More folks popping in in the evening. I noticed a lot of people popped in the other night when I was on late, so maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing. We'll see. We'll see if that's a thing. We can experiment. What am I doing? Oil! I'm going to do uh, abject oilery and housery today. What my plan is uh, build, build some oil fields over here, and then housing in between this and that so that we will have support for both, in theory. Let's see how it goes. So to start up, I gotta, I gotta do my thing where I, where I, I zone it out. I zone an industry area. This is my industry area. My life-sucking industry area. Bumping it up against this other life-sucking industry area. The funny thing about this overlap, too, is that um, one day if I move this, it's a plant, I can actually put it wherever I want. There's more room now. I could probably put it over here and it'd be easier. But, um, hmm. I mean, it's a thing to consider. Will moving it cause any problems? I mean, we've got production happening right now. How is our production looking right now? He says getting distracted. Oh, 
Well, we've certainly got enough resource units to get to the next level, and we'll have not enough workers yet, but for, for the next level, but that's going to happen. Mostly just producing metals. Not much in the way of glass. Isn't that is this isn't this here to make glass? Where are we making glass? Here we here is where we're making glass at the fiberglass plant. Let me check my resource map again. Yeah, I was wondering about just taking them out of this corner so that I can get at that that one remaining tiny patch of of oil under there. But maybe that's not really necessary. I'm gonna go ahead, I mean, I've got a sufficient amount. I'm gonna get a good area to build in here. We'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Famous last words. I've got people on this road now. Once again, we have a hot dog van. Um, actually, I'm going to need to... All right, yeah, these places are drying up. I'm going to need to deal with them soon. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I'll know eventually. I'm going to clear that. I mean, i got to clear out the pollution once, I, once I'm done with this area. Um, There's some more ore over here I can get, so I mean, I'll probably move some stuff over here. Um, don't you want to get all of this? No, no, I will not be tempted. Okay, no, we're doing oil today. <laughs> Focus! All right. Oil. So we've got to have... some roads dedicated to all of this. I think perhaps I mean the loop method has been working out pretty well. How we look at the tra- oh look, dead trees. How we look at the traffic. I just want to check to see now, what traffic burdens we're putting on here? Not terrible. Okay. So, we could access it from up here. We want to sort of build that and make that happen. I mean, I could also even do that from this road. Yes. Okay. I see it. I have a plan. Terrible plan. Um, let's do it. We sort of piggyback off of this. It's here. We may as well do that. Let's see if I can just put it on the resource map first. No! Okay. That's fine. Everything is fine. Anything a little... Airport road. Regular airport road. Monorail road. Medium industry road. One way road with sidewalks. One way two lane. One way road is what we want. We want probably. Our four lane one way road is down here. Ah! That might be good. All right. Let's see if we can do this. bad. We're, we're enclosing the area in a sort of a loop.
This is the master loop around the around this uh, new oil field, oil roller. Now you got to figure out. I want to handle all of this. So the flow is going to be just sort of right around here and out this way. Okay. This is actually... Oh, you know what? Hmm. Because the resources are all in here. It is a slightly different setup, isn't it? Yes. You know what would be nice if I actually... You know, I, 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 uh, I took a moment. I've been for the last 18 minutes so I could show people this. And then I've just been sitting here in front of what I'm doing. Here, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Uh, I had to flip back so you can actually see what I'm doing. Yay! Okay. Yeah, it was a different setup, just not something that I, uh, I was remembering I was doing. Okay. A couple ways I can do this. Uh, I could just use this area if I do only some of it at a time, right? If I do like one half and then the other half. Um, and then sort of flip where I have the buildings. The other way to do this... Is... Yeah, because I have... Uh, I have... Um, the way this works... Dang it, I need to... Where's that screen that shows you the things? Maybe it's over here. Yeah. yeah extraction and processing. And factories are all... going to be different things. The, the, the extraction is... Uh, needs to happen on the land. But the processing does not need to happen on the land directly. So... It's really the, uh, the processor buildings that I need to, um... Yes. There was something going on here. Um, there was something I needed to look into here. Yes, yeah, so for those of you who couldn't see before, I'm basically I'm putting this, uh, I'm getting doing uh, oil extraction here, and then I'm going to be putting houses in between these two areas so that there there are people who can go these different places. So a couple of options. One would be to put, like, processing buildings over here, maybe. You can despoil this forest. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I could put processing over here, but that the flow of that is not as good. Because then you get people continuously circling back to get to processing. And so, like, they could go here, but then I'd have to route the, I'd have to route this whole thing differently, basically. Which I suppose is doable. A little tricky. How big are the are the processing buildings? For oil. Naphtha cracker plant. 
There's oil to produce a good special to the, to the petroleum industry. Plastic! Processing building needed to be placed inside the industry area, obviously. And this waste oil refining plant is a processing building which requires oil to produce special good petroleum. So basically you get petroleum and, uh, and plastic out of this. And these are smaller petroleum and plastic buildings. That's not huge. Although I do worry about polluting the water. So that's a thing you may want to think about. Actually, let me look at the pollution ring for the extractor buildings now that I'm thinking about this. Oh, offshore drilling. That'd be great. Um, the oil rig, yeah, we can avoid hitting the water with the extractors. And I just want to make sure that processors are further inland. There's a smaller process. I mean, my, my god. Building is small, but the reach is quite, quite distant. So, so yeah, what we're going to have to do We've got to build these away from the coast, so Yeah, we're going to have to do it like that. We're going to have to, um I either got to build a bridge and process stuff over here, or I've got to Extend the loop this way. Build it like that. Which is fine. I might even move this road a bit. I could send it underground sooner if I really wanted to. But I, I do want to be able to get from here to other places. Um, Meows. Trying to sort of work around the curve of the mountain rather than uh, dive right through it. I just need a bit of room. Come around and do processing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if I, uh... If I work the flow of this so that... We come down through... And, like, head this way... You can kind of see that working. I'm going to extend this out. Just a wee bit. We'll see how that does. Zoned. Okay. And I mean, there'll be roads in between and stuff, so it's not going to be big a deal. Okay. 
I think we can make that work. It does mean going up through here and back through here and over here if I if I want to. Yeah, the only thing I got to be careful of is to is to make sure how I route this because. <clears throat> It is going to be tricky if it's just like this. It's like, if we have an extractor down here, we need to be able to get it over here. We need to get the resources over here so that it can be processed. Ah! A solution might present itself. Um... I could do oil processing over here also. We'll see. God damn it. <laughs> Wonder how long I've been talking with that uh, with that muted. All right. Well, let's see. I'm not awake today, not at all. In brief, no, I've just been talking about where I'm putting stuff. Someone else discovered industry can run off its own water. Unsure if rules changed over the years. I'm not... Eh? Eh. Like they don't need water sources? Ah. Let's see. I mean, you know, anyone who want, you know, wants to read the captions can try to translate it, I suppose. Anyway. Translate whatever, whatever I've been blathering about the last 15 minutes. Uh, let's see. Just put some things down. Put down buildings, figure it out. Huh. You're saying it can feed off its own wastewater supply. Yeah. I'll need places for these, too. I'm hesitant to start knocking over mountains. Um... <laughs> Because again, I was going to use this when you consider how I build. What does that even mean? It, I, actually, I'm trying to figure out what that means. It, it feeds off its own what I... Hmm. So like it doesn't need... It doesn't need me to run a pipe to it, is what you're saying? You can just... Eh. As in you don't need a freshwater inlet for, for an industry area? Yeah. Interesting. All right. 
And I'm just trying to just trying to visualize how this is going to work. <laughs> or if this is going to work. Because I'm gonna need Like, I can put the industry buildings also over here. I mean, the main industry building. Let me do that. Let me get this started, for goodness sake. Also, I am remembering something. I'm going to probably need to redo these roads because they prefer it when the roads are straight. Makes it easier. I'm just sort of mapping out what I have here. When it comes to extreme... Well, okay, let me just... For goodness sake. Roads. Build roads, sir. Build roads. What do we have? Okay. Major patches. We can get a thing coming down like this. For example... Kind of cut through. But going all the way through like that actually isn't going to help us, is it? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. I don't know how helpful that's going to be. Let me see. Um, okay, that, that didn't fully connect. We have to go through here and then go to the extractor buildings. Yeah, screw it. I'm putting extractors over here on the other shore. I don't think there's any way I can do this. I don't know if I can visualize this in a way that will be helpful. Lest I want to um, just funnel it all up here, which is a little nuts, but actually not so much, because I'm going to have eventually a cargo harbor over here. You know what? Maybe we can do it that way. All right. All right, let's give this let's give this a try. I'm suddenly thinking. I'm just going to funnel everything this way. If everything goes this way, we can go through here. To our extractors. Not our extractors. To our processors. And then come out over here. I can see that working.
start lifting ourselves upward. Hmm. Apparently that works. Then they just come out here and then they head wherever they need to head. And then the alternative to that. Yes. In theory, this could work. Yeah, we're still gonna have to have a light there, but... Let me go ahead and up let me go ahead and upgrade this to four lanes one way. If that helps. So we can go out in either direction. Okay. Okay. There, there are there are possibilities here. Okay. It'll fit there. Uh, 
Might have to put it out there, actually. Yeah, okay. So we have the main building down there. That's not going to cause any problems. It's headquarters for city service vehicles. <laughs> um, <clears throat> barracks. Maintenance. Barracks increase work efficiency. We can put those wherever we want. Within reason. Wherever they'll fit, really. All right. Processing. Oh, that's transportation. Process. Extractor. Pro I know I'm doing this kind of backwards, but there's a reason for that. Okay, the slope is currently too steep. And I'd have to put it there. And one of these over here. That would work. Okay. And if I have to cling to this side. We shall now move the earth. Adjust the slope. Make this workable. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's a bit much. Um let me, let me lower that a little bit. I make this Okay. Yeah, this is gonna get weird. Just trying to make the land kind of flat. I know, it's the other way. Alright. Wow. Okay. Trying to create a gentle slope. Okay, let's let's look at this first and see. What am I doing? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. These will fit here now. How many of these do I want to put in? No, I should have done the, those first. Let me, uh... Let me get rid of these. Because these are bigger. Yeah, there we go.
I figure if there's a way to make the slope easier. You can get a second one in there. following the curve of the road at this point. <laughs> See how that does. Uh, it's still too steep. Ah, there we go. Okay, good, good. Got a second one in. See if there are places we can toss these. Yeah, good. 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 They're one-way roads, so this works out. Okay. Probably enough of those for now. Unless I want to try to play with the play with the, the levels here again and try to make that work. Which I guess is doable. We're funneling it through here and then we go down here and out here. Like we could put more down there if we want. Have to adjust the land a bit. Make a weird little hill over here. Ah! It would technically fit, but that would also get in the water, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that, that, that'll be a problem. I might put other buildings down there that are, like, maintenance-related, but, uh, you know, let's not, uh, not mess with the rest of that too much. And I'd have to, like, do some strange thing there. Yeah, this will be fine for now. Okay, over here. 
What goes over here? The extractors. We're not even thinking about storage yet. We put storage down there and that'll mess traffic way up. <laughs> we'll figure all that out soon. Offshore drilling. Yeah, let's not let's not do that. Large oil drill, small oil drilling rig, large oil drilling rig, large oil pump, small oil pump. That does eight freight trucks again, eight thousand units per week. That does ninety six hundred units per week. That does eleven thousand two hundred units per week. It's very strange putting it like there. There's there's no water. This makes very little sense to me. Like if I put that there. Oh, that's just one of those. That would explain why that, that let me put it there. Because I hadn't selected it. Ha ha! Okay. If I select this, then yeah, obviously, you have to put it on a shoreline. Inside an industry area, so it would go like that, right? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a delightful amount of pollution. We're not doing that. We're going to stick with the oil rigs. Rigs and pumps. Okay. Okay, and yeah, that'll give us a bit of a surge through. On these things. Now let me, let's see, let's see where the oil is. All 9,600 units a week. Something starts falling down outside of the area. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess the only real difference is I'm looking at the 60 and 30, 60 and 50. This requires more workers, which I guess is the, the issue there. Go ahead and start working this.
There's going to be a lot to extract. We're gonna end up with more oil than we know what to do with. Quite possibly. That's a lot. Even over here. I feel as though this might be the maximum amount of anything we want to throw down here because it's kind of terrifying. Okay. Let's. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> That's so much. That's going to be more than this can probably handle. We'll see if that works. Yeah, right now they don't have enough raw materials. Well, I have a feeling that's not going to be a problem soon. Also, they apparently need water. How are they with electricity, though? Electricity they're getting. Somewhat. Okay. Let's get them water and electricity. I actually need to get going soon. No! Okay, there we go. It takes care of the water. Electricity is still going to be an issue. Oh, they're not quite... Yeah, I took away those... Those... All right, let's... Uh, throw some more down. Give us just a touch more.
Hmm. Getting the power they need. Almost, not quite. Do not connect industry to main supply for that to properly happen. Um, if I just give them their own water source, is that what we're looking at? I'm still trying to figure. I, I'm still not quite sure I understand how that works. The the idea that they create their own. Water, they live off their own wastewater. <laughs> I just give them an independent hour or something. You give them more electricity. Oh, turbines. There we go, that's a good spot for it. Yeah, that does. This requires a lot of power. Apparently has to be generated independently. <laughs> Make everything work. Okay, that's finally getting through. I think? Why are we having problems? It's not getting all the way through. Okay, hang on. I don't see the... Don't see what's happening clearly here. How about that? I mean, actually, we don't even need this now. This is all connected now. Is it still not enough power? I suppose. Not enough power there either. What the heck is going on here? Um... Are there not enough points of connection? Is that... Let me try something. No? No? Alright. Can connect these folks up somehow? This is clearly not happening well enough. And getting across the canal is going to be rough. quite good enough. Wow. It's like our electricity production overall is massive, but it's still not going to be quite enough for what we're doing in these different places. Funny. Also doesn't seem to be flowing from here to here for whatever reason. Not quite there on the electricity.
give them a power plant. This gives them an oil power plant. Nuclear power plant. That'll go well. Solar. Can I give them a tower? I can give them a tower. 240, 160, 80, 480. And that requires me to do stuff on the coast here, which isn't is currently blocked by, blocked by fairies. Also a bit big. Same with the solar power plant. Oil power plant's gonna fit right in there, though, isn't it? All right. I mean, it, it's thematically appropriate, if nothing else. Let me just stick that here. That work? That worked. Okay. That worked, and we have a delightful desolate area. <laughs> Very close to the edge of, of this lovely natural resource. <laughs> I'm sure that's not going to cause any problems. Wonder if I should have put it further down over here. Who knows? In any case, uh, yeah, they're gonna need garbage service also. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I don't know if we'll get there today, but we'll get there. Hmm. I just drop another one of those without. Things happening? Who knows? Oh, oh, I know. They just went up. Oh, they're skyrocketing now. I've put so much down there. It's going to be nuts. Yeah, a lot of production happening there now. I'm sure that's going to clear up in a moment. They're going to be getting their raw materials. Delightful traffic jam happening here. Where are you headed? You're exporting. Also exporting. I suppose I could create storage around here. I just worry that the storage is going to generate more trucks. We'll, we'll figure that out eventually. That said, though, let's see. Ah, yes, housing. Let us make a delightful little community before we dive out here. We stare at our pollution issues. Okay. We're not going to connect these directly. It would be nice, probably, to have a way in. Um, that is indeed what we are doing.
You know, we're gonna have all kinds of traffic issues now because of this. But this is not unexpected. All right. Um, let me go ahead and do this before I drift too far into the the various various nowhere places that my brain is wanting to go. Um, four lane road with bicycle lanes. Oh, okay. We'll do it that way. That 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 works somehow. Ah, yes. No, no. Nothing. Nothing wrong with that road. Very hilly. Very hilly road. We're going to see how we can build these communities. Um, and figure out what we want to do here. Uh, yeah, services here, housing here. Gonna be rough making all of this work. Trying to make it work. Work, damn you! All right. Yeah, 
Okay. It looks like we're getting more traction out of left to right than up and down. It's weird, but I kind of like it. I'm putting those intersections too close together. Do it like that. Also, this is going to be... Yeah. Yeah, that looks, that's too close. That's fine, though. This this can We can work with this. <laughs> this strange monstrosity. Okay. Low density. Um, let me go ahead and zone this out, actually, before I forget. neighborhood. Oh no, you know what? I that was that was wrong. I just I just zoned that for industry. No, we don't want that. Trees. One is just zoned as a place. There we go. Pine Park. Not a single pine to be found. <laughs> the not at all well named Pine Park. Here, let's. Palm Park. There we go. <laughs> that's that's better. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Let me let me let me see. Um. Residential. Self-sufficient or wall? Can I make them wall to wall? I think that'd be a good idea, given the space involved. Okay. See how this plays out. I mean, they'll need, they'll need electricity, but, you know, what else is new? Land value is not bad down here. Right now, they're only a couple of ways in or out. But folks are already using this road to get from here to here. Which could be a good thing or could be a bad thing. Oof, I gotta get going. 
Running out of time. So, I do have a thought. Where to put a thing. I really only need to uh, conduct electricity in this way. Let me see. I mean, there are a few buildings I can throw down to make this happen. Not too much trouble, methinks. Go ahead and give them water. Yeah, water availability is still getting weird here. There we go, two birds, one stone. We just upped water availability by putting a water tower there. And then conducted the electricity as well. Okay, that's going well, I think. I'm going to take a look at services. Um, then I've got to go. I'm... There's no time! Um, yeah, they're gonna need garbage delivery. They're gonna need garbage delivery. Need to build another recycling center. I mean, we can put one down here. But apparently that won't do much for over there. It'll do a little bit. Not as much as we had hoped. A lot of people are using that road. It'll be better than it was. Yeah, okay. Throw it in. Why not? More recycling. You have garbage pickup. Um, let's see. Ah, hospital. Yes. That community... They, they need one too, but... Uh, We'll see where we are. I'm gonna give them a medical clinic, just sort of a dedicated one so they can actually you know, possibly not die. Hmm. They run into trouble.
A child health. I mean, really, the elder care is going to be the... Is always the tricky one. I kind of wanted to do something a little more parkish up here. High capacity hospital. I need to figure out what the high capacity buildings do. As opposed to the other buildings. And a delightful cemetery. A happy little cemetery. No, no. Okay, how about a crematorium? Just nestle it in there. Right between the uh the el right next to the elder right between the elder care center and the hospital. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Fire. Might help if things do not catch on fire. If we want to put like a whole thing there, that's possible. Is, is that more? Is that how that works? Powered by burning souls. Okay. <coughs> we have fire service in there. Do we need fire service over here? Probably. Might be helpful if. We have fire service by the oil refinery. I'm just going to put a high capacity fire station right there. Just because I, I don't have one yet. That's not going to bother traffic at all. Okay. And uh, education. High capacity elementary school. I, I'm, I'm curious as heck about these. And I don't have anything here yet, so I guess we'll put that there. And the demand's down, so I don't need to put too much there yet. High capacity high school. That's the name of the high school. Is high the I went to high capacity. <laughs> I mean, a regular high school would do for that. If I put a high capacity high school down, then I can build more housing out there if I need it. I would think so. Yeah, we'll do that. Look at these wall-to-wall -wall buildings. <laughs> Apartment units. That's what these all are. Oh boy. Okay. Does pack the classrooms like sardines? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So that will hopefully also help this. Um, Rid of those failed businesses. Wonder if I should give them a little road to get in here so that they can. Uh... They can become one with the industry.
All right. That's a good start for these areas. I need to go. Go ahead and eradicate these failed businesses. Failure! Failure. All right. There we go. We already, in the time that we've been here, sucked everything we can out of the ground. Not enough buyers for products. Ah, eh, there's a shock. This, this burned out real fast, didn't it? Yep, yep, it did. <laughs> we just, we just sucked away all the oil here real fast. Okay. Um. Well, that that was that was enlightening. We'll deal with that later. That's a, that's another future me problem. Uh, since I gotta get going, but we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and save here. Wow. Okay. Well then. That's, uh, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and, uh, finish up here now for the day. And I'll, I'll figure out. So, so, yeah, future self, please look at traffic and, uh, and, uh, redundant, uh, industry stuff before diving into other building that you wanted to do from last time. Uh, and uh, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> well, folks, thank you very much for hanging out for this little... Wasn't uh, wasn't a huge amount of time because I've got to, uh, again, got to do stuff today, I hope. Um, let's see. We're getting some delightful traffic jams now. That, that'll be great. I'm going to really need to start addressing traffic. Um, what's, uh, what's going on? So today is not a lot. Uh, today is Thursday. Um, not a huge amount happening in the immediate future. I've got, uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks, there will be probably more video gamery. <coughs> Once again, I have this. I may try this out. I may try this out now in the next, the next, next couple of weeks if I can. Uh, once again, thank you very much to the individual who, who got this for me. Again, I don't know if they want to be revealed, but uh, yeah. very kind of them, very kind of them. Um, and uh, let's see, what else is happening? Um, so mostly that, uh, when we get further into October, we will have um, a few things going on, uh, tabletop RPG-wise. Um, we've got... Our Dune campaign that's going to be starting up. We, we've we got uh, our Invisible Sun finale. And we've got a campaign of Don't Rest Your Head that I'm starting. And uh, that's going to be all kinds of crazy because I'm doing it on two different days. Uh, <laughs> so um, <laughs> it'll be uh, it'll be nuts. Um, I, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. Um, but uh, that's actually going to be it for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me go and say hi to someone. Uh, when we uh, when we leave here, so feel free to hang on if you're so inclined to say hi to them with us. No idea who. Probably either going to be Happy Cap Happy Capster or with a brick, one of the two. Um, but uh, in the meantime, folks, thank you all very much for watching and hanging out. Take care, and I will see you all of a sudden. <laughs>